scientists say time is running out for J50. The young female orca is very ill. It's been over a week since she was injected with antibiotics. The veterinarian who saw her last says her health isn't improving. Thinnest whale, that uh, killer whale that I've ever seen. She was like this, you know, little energizer buddy that just keeps going and going. Definitely captured our hearts, but I don't want to leave you in any false hope. This is a very sick whale. She's one of only 75 southern resident killer whales left. She hasn't uh, reproduced as yet. She's incredibly well, invaluable to the recovery of this population. Scientists say they've exhausted ways to treat her remotely. They need to get their hands on her to do ultrasounds and blood work to figure out what exactly is wrong with her, leading them to their last viable option, to capture her in hopes of nursing her back to health. We are preparing to rescue J50 if she ultimately is separated from her family unit or strands alive. But intervention is controversial. A petition has already been circulating in Seattle against the decision. Some scientists say her chances of recovery are slim. And even if she does, she won't ever grow up to reproduce. But there has been success in the past. A whale named Springer was captured, treated and returned to the wild in 2002. She has since gone on to birth two calves. The emergency plan to capture and treat J50 is just that, a plan. Scientists reiterated over and over again that they will only capture J50 if she separates from her family and if it doesn't impact the rest of the whales. And what happens if they capture her and she can't be treated? Scientists say they will return her to her family to live out the rest of her life. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.